All right, so this is a little different video than our normal farm stuff. I'm here on the farm, but we bought a brand new camper last year. It's a 2021 Alpha Wolf. And we were told we're supposed to clean and condition the roof, uh, I think three times a season, which just seemed crazy to me. Um, not to say I don't believe it, but anyways, this is the first roof conditioning that we've done. I'll probably try and do it twice a season going forward just because I see what a difference it's making. This is a two, this is a two part process. Sorry, I might've been cutting my head off there. I'm on top of the camper. When you spray this stuff, it's very slippery. So just trying to pay attention to where I'm walking at this point. But um, it's a two part process. I will show the other part here when I get down off the camper to uh, do the second part. But this first part is made by Starbright. It's RV rubber roof cleaner. Um, I had some car wash and wax from the same company, Starbright. It actually works really well on the outside. Um, but this, uh, this rubber roof cleaner is, I'm amazed at how much dirt is taken off the roof. And the roof actually doesn't even look all that bad, really. Uh, basically, I've been cleaning uh, all the edges here. I'm just using a uh, like a car wash brush. This is actually, I don't even know where I got this thing. I've had it for years. It extends out basically double the length. It's about six foot tall, so it goes out to like... 11 10 11 foot maybe 12 foot depending on how far i push it um, but it really makes it nice to be able to reach out there the hardest part about all this is actually just keeping the silly hose up here in a safe spot where it doesn't roll off the camper and then i gotta climb down the ladder and get it but so far i haven't knocked the hose off and basically i just did a quick once over wash on the whole thing uh, like I said, it doesn't look too bad, but then I go back and do a second coat. I spray this down, let it sit. I think the directions say 30 to 60 seconds or 15 to 30 seconds, something like that. But I just spray spray the whole thing down and then I go back with the brush and um, I just lightly scrub it. And uh, you really see the dirt come off um, and then I wash it off. The only um, disclaimer I would add or thing to be careful for is once you spray that stuff on it's very slippery up here uh, way more slippery than the soap is I'm actually using the spray stream because I just think it works a little faster because I'm kind of impatient when it comes to this kind of stuff I don't want to be up here for hours doing all this I'm just squirting the whole thing down <clears throat> doing basically one section or one panel at a time. It's a lot of bird poop up here. I don't know what the heck is in this stuff. I could probably read the label, but that's work. I don't really want to do that. But this works really good. Squirt this down. I let it sit for a minute. But like the second I sprayed it on the bird poop here it's like it disintegrates it instantly way better than the soap does and basically I just kind of start to lightly scrub it so I'll probably wind up taking my little scrub brush there in the bucket and getting around the edge of the air conditioner really well floors or this roof is very slippery very slippery so we just be careful but it's gonna be like almost 90 degrees today so this actually isn't too bad of a job in the shade so it also definitely helps to have a little hand sponge because you can get a lot of it, but you can't get all of it. This one little spot right here, I just sprayed. I try not to scrub too crazy hard because I don't want to damage the roof. This is the, the, uh, roof protectant that I've been using. This morning I used the same thing, but it was a cleaner. This afternoon I've put one coat, I'm about to do a second coat, 
I don't think is required or necessarily even recommended, but because I didn't do it at all last year, I know how I am. I probably won't do this again until next year. So I figure it's not gonna hurt. This stuff's a little pricey. It's 25 bucks a bottle, but basically one bottle does the whole roof. So my trailer doesn't actually have a ladder, which is a bummer. But roof has come out pretty good, I think. Basically after it's been cleaned, it's literally just a matter of spraying. This is a lot like armor all. So when it goes on, it kind of leaves a shine on the roof. All right, so this has been life on the farm today. The kids are playing tag or shooting each other. I have no idea. I have been washing and waxing this thing for the most part all day today. And I still have this side left to wax. I haven't waxed this side yet, but the front, the side with the slide out, the slide out is all done. I gotta do the back pretty much on this side. I did pick up some caulk and I caulked all of this area that had some black trim or whatever that is. I right, the rough exposed. You can kind of see the new caulk. And I had a couple of screws pop through over there on that side. All the way over there. Which is why I got the caulk out in the first place. But so far it's been a good little project. We leave tomorrow for a long canoe trip. So we've put airbags on the truck this week the camper, washed it, waxed it. It's ready for a full season of camping as much as we can with our little farm and the animals.